Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And welcome back to my Manifest With Me series. Today in episode two, we're going to be debunking manifestation myths. So where are we at in the manifestation cycle right now? If you are nervous because you just joined this and you feel like you're missing out, just go catch up on episode one. The link to the playlist is gonna be below and don't worry because we haven't even gotten to the manifestation process. This real manifestation process isn't gonna start until March 24th on the day of the new moon. All we're doing in this first couple of episodes is just introducing you to the concept of manifesting introducing you to the moon cycle and introducing you to the law of attraction. So I thought today would be fun to talk about a couple of manifestation myths to open you up a little bit more to how easy this process really is and how non-intimidating it should be, okay? So myth number one is that you have to be positive in order to manifest, okay? So while to a certain degree and certain extent, it is important to be positive in order to manifest because this is all about energy, this is all about vibration, this is all about frequency. So being able to have a positive state of mind, being able to have a high frequency will definitely help you to manifest a lot faster and a lot more intense. It's kind of, I think it's ridiculous to expect somebody to be positive all the time. We are human beings. We are emotional creatures. We are spiritual beings having a human experience, which means we're going to cry sometimes. We're going to get angry sometimes. We're going to freak out sometimes. We're going to fly off the handle sometimes. Some of us have mental health conditions like me. I have anxiety and depression. Okay, and even though I've meditated and I'm a healer and I do therapy and you know receive help and see doctors and all that stuff, it's a process. It's not something that can be spontaneously healed or fixed overnight, despite what anyone might say, okay? People sometimes try to say if you just do this meditation or if you just think positive, you're gonna be, you're gonna get healed or something. Some people legitimately have chemical things going on in their brain or situations or trauma or grief they're trying to overcome. Like if you are mourning the passing of a loved one, but maybe still trying to manifest something, I think it's possible. I think it's possible to manifest no matter what life is thrown your way and no matter like what you're going through. I think it's still possible. Is it gonna be a little tricky? Yes. Is it gonna take more focus? Yes. Are you gonna have to be more intentional? Yes, but it's not impossible. I think that manifestation flows the easiest when you are in a state of like having an open heart and having an open mind. When you are in a state of resistance, when you are resisting what is, that is the killer the biggest roadblock for your manifestations. So if you don't genuinely feel positive or feel happy on the inside and you force yourself to be positive or you force yourself to be happy, that is gonna be worse for your manifestation process than you just giving in to the sadness or allowing yourself to cry or allowing yourself to be angry for a day, you know? So it's not going to throw your manifestations off if you had a bad week or you had a bad day, if you're not feeling so positive, if you're kind of a little bit more of a glasses half full type of person, um, it might be a little bit more challenging. You might have to be more intentional, but it's not going to screw up your manifestations. Okay. So I think this is when I first thought about manifestation and was getting into it, this is why I was so turned off by it. Cause there's so many people out there who are just like, just be positive and like trying to thought police and emotion police everybody. And when you have real things going on or you have like a condition or, you know, processing the loss of someone or you've broken up with someone or you're in a desperate situation, like it's very hurtful and, and, and hard and frustrating 
to try to force yourself to be positive. So likewise, there's a lot of people out there who uh, they, think, they think that just by being positive that everything they want is going to manifest. So that's not always how it works. So do you have to be 100% positive all the time? No. Um, do you need to prime your energy a little bit and try to be positive? Yes, but I think that just being authentic and flowing with your emotions and being present is a lot more powerful than forcing positivity, okay? So now let's move on to the next manifestation myth, okay? So let's debunk the second myth. So myth number two is all you have to do is just believe and then you will receive. So while I do love this quote, and I, and I think that our beliefs and our subconscious beliefs are extremely important, this isn't necessarily how the law of attraction works. I talk to many clients, many people in tarot readings every day who tell me that they believe that they're gonna win the lottery and they that's just what they're banking on and they and they're just that's what they're focused on they believe it with all their heart and they don't win and they're like why am I not winning the lottery or you know I believe that I'm gonna get a new job and I, I I'm hoping and like I I'm doing really good with my energy and my positive thoughts and I just believe it with all my heart why am I not getting a job and I ask them have you applied to any jobs and they're like no I'm, I'm just hoping an opportunity will come we got to take action, you guys. You know, we got to take action. Action is a very important part of the manifestation process. Energy flows where your momentum goes. So a huge part of the manifestation process is all about momentum, getting the energy flowing. It starts with an idea. It starts with belief because yes, you, you, if you don't believe you can make it happen, then it's not going to happen, you know? Um, so that's extremely important, but action and momentum is just as important in this process. And I think that some people, when they think about manifesting things, they just think if they hold the idea and they believe it with all their heart and they think positive thoughts that things will manifest. And that does happen sometimes. I have manifested things out of nowhere but that is not always how it happens. You have to get out there and make your mark on the world. You have to do your part. You have to work for things. I could believe that I want to like, whatever, maybe lose 10 pounds or something, but just believing that and imagining myself exercising and imagining myself eating healthy food and like imagining myself, my fat cells shrinking and all of that stuff is only gonna go so far. Eventually I need to stop putting you know, junk food in my mouth and drink more water and eat fruits and vegetables. It's just common sense. So there's common, you need to use a little bit of common sense with the manifestation process. And I know I'm gonna have people probably below in the comments trying to tell me that like this isn't true or something, that if you do just believe with all your heart and mind and think positive, that everything's gonna happen for you, but you have to work for it. I had to work for pretty much everything I manifested and like you st even with the lottery, you still have to be the one to think of the numbers. You still have to be the one to get out your door and purchase the lottery ticket. So <laughs> it's, you know, just believing isn't necessarily enough. Is it important? Yes, probably one of the most important parts, but just that alone is not enough. There's, you know, you gotta take action, okay? So myth number three is Manifestation means that I just allow the universe to bring to me whatever is best for me. So while I am all about that, I'm definitely all about like trusting in the universe, trusting in God or the universe or the collective consciousness and like how everything's always working out for me and like trusting what comes my way. Um, I do think it's about a, it's a delicate balance because we need to remember that we are the master creators of our lives. We are the ones who get to decide what we want in life. And sometimes religion or certain beliefs, certain structures can be a little toxic when you, when you just think like, just trust God, just let God bring everything to you. It, it just makes you feel very like helpless, very 
not, like not in control of your life. So I feel like manifestation is all about co-creating. It is trusting the process. Like when I trust, I've mentioned in the last episode, kind of trusting the process of when things felt like they were falling apart, that it was like all coming together in a beautiful way. I'm all about that. But if you just give up all of your control and you don't ever make decisions and you don't ever make conscious choices about what you want, and what you want to create and you don't go after the things that you want in life and you just kind of let everything be I guess that's one way to live but if you have specific things you want to manifest that might it might not just always randomly flow to you 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 are a part of this process so I think this goes along with point number two a little bit to remember that you are the one who is shaping your life through your thoughts feelings actions and intentions and making decisions and making choices is a very important part of this process choosing not to choose that's also a choice sometimes we feel like well I'm just not gonna make a choice and I'm just gonna let the universe do what it wants or I'm just gonna let whatever is meant to happen will happen but that's also you making a choice that's you kind of just giving up your power that's you just uh, you could make something else happen if you really want to. You could see what happens and maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. I think it's better to choose what happens. You can't always have complete control over everything in your life, but you are the one who gets to control the choices and decisions that you make. And I think that's a very fun and exciting part of life. So myth number four, if I think a negative thought, then something bad will happen. So I definitely do not think that this is true at all. Um, we think so many different thoughts every single day. We think the weirdest thoughts. If you have weird, cringy, strange, awkward thoughts, you are not alone. I have them too, and I think all of us do. Our brain's just like weird sometimes. So that'd be kind of a crazy world to live in if we all, everything, every single thing we thought, every single negative thing we thought manifested. Manifestation has a lot to do with intention and like what you really desire and what you really believe. So for example, I'm just, we're gonna bring up Hitler, okay? Sorry if this is triggering, but this is my example that's coming to mind right now. Hitler obviously thought a lot of negative thoughts. He obviously had very negative intentions that were so powerful that what he manifested was awful. You know, I don't think we could even argue against that. And so if you truly have awful negative thoughts that you believe in, in a deep way, and you go out and act on them constantly, then yes, that, that's what you'll manifest, okay? so. Having good intentions and, and having intentions that your manifestations will come together for the highest good of yourself and everyone involved is always a great way to go about manifesting. And I will teach you guys that through the manifestation process. Um, as you're writing down your intentions and doing all that good stuff, which we will do in a couple of days, um, a way to ensure that what you're doing is coming from your heart and has good intentions for you know the best of everybody involved and for yourself. I don't think many of you guys here really need to worry about that. Now, I do have to say that if you're kind of in a dark place, if you truly believe that the world is going to hell in a handbasket and you are very angry and upset and you have intentions to cause harm to other people and the things that you desire and you want to manifest, are very dark then you could probably manifest those things there's people who are manifesting that stuff so there kind of aren't really limits to it sadly enough people use you can use your power for good and you can use your power for bad but I don't think you need to get paranoid thinking that every negative thought you have even if you think it powerfully is gonna manifest you know there's been times that I this is sad to admit, but I wish something bad would happen to somebody because I was really mad. But then like later I was like, oh, that was a horrible thought and I don't really want that to happen and that wasn't really nice. But I'm not tripping because even if something bad did happen to that person, I'm not paranoid to the extent to where I'm gonna think it was my fault, you know? So it's important to think good thoughts and to wish well for other people. But if you get mad sometimes or you have a bad thought or you think like, 
I'm screwed or I'm ugly or I'm fat and nothing good is ever gonna happen to me, then that happens sometimes. I think it's when you continuously think that 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 you can kind of start to manifest that. Like sometimes I'll post like an uplifting quote about like love and and or some relationships and so I have some people comment sometimes, not for me, I never get a boyfriend. And I've been there. I've been at that place where I've been like, oh, I'm so unattractive. I'm never gonna get a boyfriend or whatever. But um, by being more, a little bit more positive naturally, which I didn't get there overnight, and by working on my confidence and my self-esteem and my self-love, I got to a place where I felt, you know what, I'm worthy of a boyfriend, and a boyfriend manifested. You know, so I do think that if you believe so deeply in a negative thought to where it becomes your truth and your subconscious truth, then yes, you do manifest it. So beliefs can be extremely powerful, but it's it's got to be a deep subconscious belief that's going on and on and on and on in your head. So if you're watching this right now and you're realizing, crap, I totally like have subconscious beliefs like that and then maybe that's why I'm like not manifesting things. Don't worry because we will work in a couple episodes on clearing blockages and on subconscious beliefs, but just know everybody has them. We've all been through blockages. We all sometimes have very deep core beliefs that like I'm poor because my family was poor and, and they came from poor and everybody was poor. I'm poor. I grew up in this neighborhood. I grew up in this country. There's no hope for me. I'm going to be poor. Money is scarce. Lack mentality. Sometimes that kind of stuff does keep us from manifesting abundance, okay? Um, it's been ingrained to us, it's deep, it's a subconscious belief, something we need to work on. But does it mean you're gonna be eternally screwed? No. If you, maybe for a week, you don't get the paycheck you thought you would and you start worrying about money and you worry just a little bit about it, does that mean that you're gonna manifest poverty forever? No. So there, there's like a, a delicate balance here because Negative thoughts or like random negative thoughts or if you're going through something, you're not going to manifest that. But if it's something that you are repeating every single day of your life and you're holding that set point, yes, you, you, you could manifest. But the wonderful thing is there's a way to fix it and we're going to be working on that in this series. And finally, we have myth number five. And this myth is manifestation is always a seamless process. And that is absolutely false because the manifestation process can be a little crazy sometimes. It's not always perfect. Go back and watch episode one if you haven't already because I shared one of my uh, manifestation journeys and it was full of a lot of ups and downs. Um, the, the actual process of deciding what it is that you want in and of itself could be a little scary for some people because sometimes admitting what you want and just believing that you're worthy, that could be a struggle for some people. Maybe you never really allowed yourself to have that. Maybe the way that you were raised or like the community or society you grew up in told you you were only good for this or you could only have that. So just the very act of like deciding what you want and writing it down or making a vision board could be tough. It could bring about tears. It, could, it can be scary because sometimes when you realize you want something, the comfort zone of where you are right now starts to crumble and fall and you start looking around at your reality and seeing it through a different lens because now you're comparing it to like what it could be. So that's really hard too. <laughs> um, and then there's just the part of the manifestation process where you surrender and let go and that's hard. There's a certain part in the process around the full moon if you're following the moon cycle where you need to surrender and, and give up control and, and not try to like work on it so hard anymore. And you're basically supposed to step back and, um, and let the universe kind of, and the energies come in to do some work on it. And that's, you don't really have control over that part of the process. You don't always have control over exactly how your manifestation manifests. And so that can be really hard sometimes because sometimes it seems like uh, it's happening in a chaotic way. Um, the, the universe sometimes works like that. Uh, it brings the order through the chaos. And then you can't control the timing. You know, I know so many people out there who are trying to manifest, uh, you know, a soulmate or somebody in love, and it's been years, and 
and there and I pull cards for them and I'm like yeah you honestly I don't see any blockages here some for some people I'm like you need to work on this this and this this is why it's not coming other people I can get a timeline I can see what's up and I actually see there's some really cool opportunities coming in that they need their attention focused on and that might be why it's not coming or maybe it's just a divine timing thing um, you know, it's just a matter of you being at a specific point in time with another person being at a specific point in time. And so it's really just a patience thing. And I think that's the hardest part sometimes is being patient and, and releasing and surrendering and being open to the timing because it doesn't always happen overnight. So that can be a frustrating thing. And if you want your manifestations to develop, uh, being open to the timing and just being totally cool with it helps you to release resistance what's which puts you into energetic alignment which helps you to manifest better and faster if that makes sense sometimes it's pushing the timeline or like being upset about the timeline and and, and holding that energy that can keep your manifestations from coming so it, it can be complicated sometimes it, this process really does humble you it humbles you, it opens your mind. It te for me, I've learned how to stop fighting with myself, how to stop fighting with the universe. I've learned how to go with the flow. I've learned to create so much more faith in myself and in the powers that be. Um, but it wasn't always that way. It it's a process. So today we learned a lot about manifestation, some really interesting points. I hope that you guys walk away from this knowing that you don't have to be perfect in order to manifest, that you don't have to believe certain things a certain way in order to manifest, that it's a lot easier than you'd think. And if you just open your mind, this process will continue to reveal itself to you in your own unique way. So come back to the channel tomorrow. tomorrow. Let's learn more about manifesting. Is there anything that you need to do today right now no in fact i would recommend that you do not get ahead of this process and don't figure out what your manifestations are don't write your intentions yet don't vision board or anything like that yet because right now it's the basalmic moon you're supposed to be resting you're supposed to be chilling really nothing much you should be doing right now but keep coming to my channel every day to learn more about manifestation and very soon we will be setting our intentions peace out